So you just want to come down to the bottom left over here, right click, click new and then click text to bring your text in. You want to type whatever you want. I'm going to type Tmail just for an example. So now you've done that, you want to pick your font. I'm going to use Arial because that's what uh, Clerk uses. Clerk uses, I believe he uses Arial, Arial Bold with uh, this on it. And then if, if it doesn't center, you just want to center it again by Control Alt Home and then Control Home. That will center it every single time. So you just want to keep doing that until it centers. But yeah, I think this is roughly the tech Clerk uses. You can also, um, you can make it thicker if you want. If you want to come down Arial and bring Arial Black, which will be the thickest. That's the thickest text you can get with Arial. But yeah, remember, every time you change the text, just Control Alt Home, then Control Home so that it centers it. So yeah, I'm just going to use uh, this. I think I want to use the, the thickest version of it. So now what you want to do is you want to add a um, shadow to it. So to do that, you just want to search up Drop Shadow in your effects panel over here on the right. Drag this onto the text clip. And then you just want to change uh, the sh opacity to 80, leave the shadow color as black, and then change the distance to 7. You want to come over to the effects and presets once again. You want to search up Turbulent Displace. You just want to drag this onto your text layer, and then you want to come to the start of the clip. You want to press a keyframe on Evolution. You want to bring come to the end of where your text is, and then change the evolution over here to uh, 10. It's up to you. Like, I'm going to use 10 because I like it to move quite a lot but it's up to you. You then want to come to the amount, you want to change that to 5, and then you want to change the size to 75. So now you've done that, you've finished with the turbulent displace. You can actually increase the complexity if you want. I like uh, having it on 2, but it's up to you. You can have it on whatever you want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add posterize time so that I can uh, make the um, turbulent displace a little less smooth because when it's smooth, it doesn't look very good. I'm going to change the frame rate to 10. I think that looks nice. I'm going to keep it like that. You can obviously change it to how you like. Don't have it exactly the same as me just because, you know, it's nice to have a bit of variation, but yeah. So now we're going to add the transition, which is uh, the main part of this tutorial, because I have done a tutorial similar to this before, but I didn't uh, show you the same font and stuff that Clerk uses. But basically, and I also did that on Premiere as well. So if you, if you want to know how to do this on Premiere, just link in the description to that. But yeah, now what you want to do is you want to add the blob transition, like the wipe transition that Clerk uses. And LMGK uses it as well. I don't know if he still uses it, but I know he did. To do that, you just want to right click on the bottom left again, new adjustment layer. And now you have an adjustment layer over the top. You just want to come to the end of the text, wherever it's ending. I'm going to end it here. You just want to press Control Shift D on the text. And then you want to press Control Shift D on the adjustment layer. And you just want to delete the two extra adjustment layers that have come on. And now you've got this. Now what you want to do is you want to add Sapphire. So S underscore wipe blobs. So S underscore wipe blobs onto the adjustment layer. All right, so once you drag that on, you just want to change the wipe percent to 100 and then go to the start of the clip and then keyframe the white percent like this by pressing that. You then want to come a couple of frames ahead. So I'm going to go 15 frames ahead. This is up to you. It obviously depends on uh, what FPS your um, sequence is in. Mine's in uh, 60 FPS, so I'm going to go 15. If yours is in 30, you want to go 7 or 8 to do the same. But I think you should choose what you want to do. It's really up to you. But then you want to change the white percent to 0 at the end like that. So you can see that uh, it sort of wipes in like this. And now we want to make it so it only applies to the text. And to do that, you want to come over to the text on the bottom left. You, you see this here, it says uh, trick mat. You want to change this to alpha mat adjustment layer one, just like this. If this doesn't uh, show up though, you, you're you probably on this screen. If you're on this screen, just come down to the very bottom. It will say toggle switches slash modes. You want to click on that and then it will bring this up and you can uh, change the no track mat to the alpha mat. Just make sure it's alpha mat the adjustment layer and make sure the adjustment layer is one layer above this otherwise it won't work so now uh, it should wipe it on like this you can see it wipes it on there you go you can change the settings a bit if, if you want it's really up to you i might change the um octaves the number of octaves just because i think it looks cooler to have a few more but yeah i'm gonna leave the octaves as they are i think this looks uh, nice the way it is so now what you want to do is you want to add posterize time once again to this like we did with the the clip below just because having it go on man uh, linearly is quite uh, boring and it looks a little bit too smooth for the effect that we're going for so go down to posterize time once again drag it on and we're going to do 10 fps again i think you can do uh, 15 if you want if your transition is quite short you might want to um, increase the fps so that you get more of it but i'm going to do 10 i'm going to see what that looks like so yeah i like the look of that it's obviously up to you you can um if you really want to increase the length of time it takes to like add this on you can just click on the adjustment layer press u and then drag this keyframe along more like that and then we'll see what this looks like. There you go. So that's what that looks like. And obviously to end it off, you can do the same, but uh, the same with the keyframe. So you just put, place another keyframe at zero, go to the very end of the clip and then press place another keyframe at 100% white percent. But yeah, this is the transition S white blobs. If you don't have Sapphire, there will be a link in the description. And if you actually um, want this text uh, as a preset, 
there'll be a link in the description to my After Effects pack. The legendary edition of my After Effects pack will have this uh, as a preset, so you just go ahead and drag that um, onto your clip and then uh, do the adjustment layer thing. So all you have to do is drag onto an adjustment layer and then um, press the uh, alpha map button on this and it will have it just like this. Instead of having to keyframe it yourself, it'll be default and the uh, text itself, like all of this will already be on there. If you want that, you can get it in my After Effects uh, legendary pack. Links to the epic version as well in the description if you're not bothered about this but you just want loads of presets as well. Over 250 and all of that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.